let's get started. A uh, quick introduction, why um, a connector between a web content management system, C, uh, the AEM, and the content hub, Celium STEM system, uh, brings added value for us. So the idea is, is rather simple. Celium will deliver optimized assets to AEM. What does optimized means? Um, Celium has profound experience in, in converting uh, images from high quality to like web optimized in different renditions, um, perfectly um, made available for mobile, for example, or for um, large screens. This is something that Celium will take care. And the great uh, added value for you here is that this is all done totally automatically. So you do not have to worry about uh, creating renditions with Photoshop or anything else. Uh, you have Celum as your central content hub for all marketing collateral, and we have AEM as the delivering media, more or less. We also take care that assets are kept in sync automatically. This means whenever there's a new version uh, of a logo or of a, a brusher um, that you upload in the Celum Content Hub, the connector will sync it automatically and will make you aware of that the sync has been done. How does it do that? There's a visual indicator in the Celum Content Hub that shows you for every asset that is made available on AEM side so that you can see it at a glance. Um, the idea here is to have Celum as the central content hub that delivers content not just to AEM, probably also to um, other Adobe products or probably a PIM system. And here you have at one glance uh, a good indication which assets are used in which system. Last but not least, um, the connector also takes care that metadata, like alternative tags or product information <clears throat> that you Manage in Celum are also delivered into the AEM. Added value here again, you manage all your metadata, all your product data at one place, and Celum and the connector take care that all other systems like AEM have always the latest version at hand. So key functionalities again, in a nutshell, there's no media disruptions. The editors that are used to use AEM can select assets directly from the Celum DOM, and probably you're not even aware that the management part is done technically by Celum. You have a usage reference, so all assets that are used in AEM are referenced with a specific icon, and the media manager um, has a good idea which assets are used in which place. And last but not least, the connector or connecting two systems with a uh, high um, with a high ratio of automation, ensures best quality, latest versions, and up-to-date metadata. So gone are the times of like, is this the latest version? Did we publish it to the CMS or not? This is something that Celum and the connector to AM takes care of. So, and now let's have a look how it looks and how it feels. Patrick, may I give you the presenter role? Let's get right into our live demo. Um, right, so first uh, I will explain what you see here. On the left side, you see our Adobe Experience Manager. Um, um, it's a website published with Adobe Experience Manager called ReRetail, an online store example provided by Adobe. And um, yeah, we are now on the About Us page. And let's just say we are a content author, and our mission is to add an image to the website because it's now a little plain and boring. Okay, so um, how would we do that? We use the AEM authoring environment, which you see here on the left side. And on the right side, of course, we see our digital asset management system, the Celum Content Hub. So um, what would be the required steps to update our uh, page? We would probably get some assets from our photographer. Uh, let's say he just uh, uploads them from his computer to the Content Hub like I just did right now. And um, maybe he provides some cute animal images. So what would be the steps? You right click on them, maybe set some metadata, for example, set the asset type to image. And maybe you even want to change like the name of the uh, image because cute is not really a good name. Maybe cute waving panda would be better. And maybe you also want to set the download format uh, in Celum already because then it will be 
um, sent in the selected format to Adobe Experience Manager, for example, Web Optimized PNG. Okay, cool. So um, now we have those images, add them to a folder within the Content Hub. And what do you have to do, uh, do now to tell the connector to sync them to Adobe Experience Manager? You simply right click on the folder, go to the AEM tag that is provided, uh, tab that is provided by our um, connector, and hit the um, checkbox to sync it. Also, you can add a custom folder name like uh, Cute Animals, would maybe be better than just Cute. Okay, so. Now we just wait a few seconds um, for the connector to pick up our changes. And once the uh, synchronization is done, we will find it um, in our authoring environment in Adobe Experience Manager under files. Here it is. It's um, all folders we sync from Selum to um, Adobe Experience Manager will be um, added to a folder you select. For example, um, we have Selum Content Hub 6.6 for all our folders. You can configure it easily. And here's the cute animals folder, including all our cute animals. Perfect. Um, now we're ready to add the cute waving panda to our site. Um, we can just quickly make sure that all renditions were synced correctly. So you see we have the original rendi rendition, which is the web optimized PNG, and also all the thumbnail and web renditions that were either the first two are generated by Serum and the last four are automatically generated for you by. Adobe Experience Manager. Okay, so um, to edit your site, you have to go in your authoring environment to the sites section, select the re retail um, project, and for United States, go to the About Us page. Here you can simply click Edit, wait a few seconds for it to load. And once it's loaded, you can choose your newly added um, or synchronized assets. For example, Cute Waving Panda is also here. You can drag and drop it then to the page. And to make it go live, you simply go to Publish Page. This will also tell you to publish the asset with it. Okay, awesome, the page has been published. Now we're in our live environment. This is what your customer will see. Do a quick refresh. And there's a cute waving panda. So this uh, saved you already a lot of time because you didn't have to uh, transfer the assets manually um, thanks to the connector. Um, what else I want to show you? Um, while we all did of that in the background, as Christoph mentioned, we now have um, icons next to all of, of our assets, indicating that they are now uh, synchronized. And also those assets that are published and live for your customer will receive a colored version of the icon to show that it's in use. And the folders that are synchronized also uh, um, marked with the bullet icon next to it. Okay, what else can the connector do for you? Uh, let's just say you're um, not satisfied with the cute panda anymore because it's not quite cute enough. So maybe you add a new version of it, which I did right now. And now it's a cute panda with a cute baby monkey. Um, when we lock our asset in Serum, it will not be synchronized as long as it's locked, which is nice so you can uh, edit it safely. Uh, maybe we want to rename it now to Cute Waving Panda, uh, from Cute Waving Panda to Baby Panda and Monkey. And while we are at it, maybe we also went, want to add or enrich our asset with some more metadata. For example, you will require some licensing information in Adobe Experience Manager. So we set copyright required, um, say it's not confidential, add some licensing text. Um, and also an expiration uh, date for the asset, for example, the end of the month. Um, also, we have some uh, default information fields here uh, in Selum. Uh, the description and author fields are um, installed per default. 
and we have some custom uh, information fields. For example, the email field was added by um, us and mapped with the help of the connector to IPTC metadata. So um, I think that would be their email address if they had one. Okay, um, one more thing I want to show you before I unlock it again to synchronize it. Uh, maybe you want to uh, organize your assets not by folder hierarchy, but with keywords. Um, and the, the uh, similar thing to keywords is an AEM called tagging. Uh, I will show you where you find it. It's here under tagging. And as you see, we have the same tags in CLOM and AEM, um, shared tags, animals, um, which you also find here. Then uh, the co connector provides you a way to um, include these tags in your assets. So go back to our asset and set the tags here in our AM text field. Uh, for example, I think they qualify as cute and also as fluffy. Okay, so now we unlock our asset again. So the connector will know it's uh, ready to be synchronized. Wait a few moments for it um, to be updated. And you see um, the new asset version was automatically um, synchronized. And now we also have, if you go to AEM properties, all the information, the metadata from Celum, like the description, the new title, the text, um, and in the advanced tab, you find the licensing information like the creator name, the copyright information, the usage terms, and the expiration date. And let's just say we also want to include metadata in the binary file, um, like IPTC is always included in the binary. So we change the download format from web um, optimized PNG to original file with metadata. Wait a few moments. And if we refresh and go to IPTC, oh, it's, I think I have to close it for a moment. And now it will be included. Here is our email address, which comes with the original file. And this was all mapped with the help of the connector to the right file, uh, to the real right properties. Um, okay, and what else can the connector do? Let's just quickly refresh our live page that is shown to the customer. And you see the asset was automatically republished for you. This is also a setting that you can set in the connector if you want to. If you don't want your assets to be published automatically, if you change them in Celum, you can also choose to protect published assets from automatically be republished. And then there's also the option to publish all assets automatically from Celum into the live environment. So many different configurations possible. Um, right, so this, these were the main features that help you uh, in your day-to-day -day life and should make your life much easier.